Hey everybody, welcome back to the Cyberspace Virtual Reality. We are really stoked to have you today. Uh, oh, before I get to it, two second plug. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, subscribe. Yeah, we that's love, important. Yeah, that's pretty important. <laughs> We'd love to have you on the channel to see the stuff that we're, we've got coming out. We've got a lot on the horizon heading your way. So let's get on right onto the video. Yeah, so today we wanted to talk about a little bit, a bit of the minutia of like building a PC VR setup, like so like a desktop setup. Um, I feel like a lot of people are kind of not allocating their their money correctly if they wanted to do this mm -hmm. right so like you have to get a pc and because you have a pc you need to get a mouse a keyboard uh you need a screen to run it all on and then you need your headset so that's four things that you got to worry about right like your peripherals your um the actual pc itself and the headset and the pc itself has a lot of parts to it so let's let's just jump right into it um so first off i think we should start with the head or like what how much money do you think you expect to spend on a PC VR setup? Totally. Totally? Like everything. Like, like we're look, talking headset. Starting from zero. Starting from zero and getting the whole PC, the headset, and any other accessories that you'd need for it. Mm -hmm. Maybe a monitor, things like that. Mm -hmm. What would I expect? Yeah. From the knowledge that I have, I'll do it from maybe the viewer's point of view. I think a lot of the viewers would think, oh yeah, maybe a little over $1,000. Mm -hmm. Maybe $1,500. From my perspective, getting everything, I think relatively minimal would be over two thousand dollars. Yeah, you're more of the tech guy. You understand this stuff more than I do. So, what what is your opinion? So, let's say you wanted to start from scratch and not buy anything used, right? No used headsets, no used parts, no used PC, no used peripherals. You're going to be spending two thousand dollars. I. I I feel pretty confident that you should budget that much money for it. Yeah. Um, at least. And if you want to get a least. better, more quality experience, I mean, three grand plus is probably what you're going to want. Yeah. But if you just want the minimums, you want it to run, you want to have fun, you want to do it, two grand is what right. you're saying. Because we spent, I think we when we first built our like first VR ready PC, we spent like 1300 bucks or $1,400. And then we bought an, a headset for $500 and then we had to buy a mouse keyboard mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So we had... And it worked well. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was good. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. But, you know, we spent close to $2,000. That's what you can expect. Um, nowadays, headsets are pretty... They're going... Simultaneously, they're getting up, like higher and lower in price, right? Like, yeah, weird, right? There's a lot more cheaper headsets on the market, but there's also... The higher end headsets aren't just five hundred dollars anymore. It's kind of what what it was before. Now it's like a thousand eight hundred. Uh, Six hundred is is the HP Reverb G two. Um, but you also have headsets like the Oculus Quest two, which I know a lot of people don't like, but I'll throw it in here. It's only three hundred dollars plus the link cable, which is another eighty, so three eighty. Um, so that's that's kind of where your headset's gonna fit in, and then you have to budget for the rest. Mm -hmm. um, you can get a cheap monitor for less than a hundred bucks. You can get a VR ready computer that's pre built and ready to go for a thousand. You know, um, you can just get that right on Amazon. Yep, delivered right to your house. Yep. So I think a lot of people watching this video will probably be in that scenario. Maybe, maybe you're a parent and your kid really wants VR. You got the money for it. You want to get it to them. You, you just don't know how. Or maybe you're a kid. You're in high school. You want to build your. Own, you want to. You want to have VR and you want to know how much you need. Like and you aren't that tech tech savvy of a person that can just go and buy the parts. Frankenstein a computer together and call it good. Right. So if that's your case, we're here to try and help you to know what to buy. You can go on Amazon and buy a PC ready VR delivered to your house. And then you buy the headset, get that delivered to your house and you're good to go. Yeah. So what, what are your recommendations if that is the scenario that people are looking to do? That you're just looking to buy stuff on Amazon? Yeah. Uh, in terms of like what to buy? Maybe, yeah, maybe some things to look for. Okay. So things to look for, I would... Get a computer that's made by a good brand, like a good, well-known brand. Cyber Power PC, they're, they're known to make some good stuff. I know that um, you can find good stuff on Newegg. I would obviously, like all the standard things, make sure that it's got high reviews. Check the customer service. Make sure that's good. Uh, make sure it's a decent price, right? Like what I would recommend is going on PC Part Picker, going and picking out all the parts like individually um, on there and seeing if the price compares, right? So like... Because in reality, they're going to be getting those parts for cheaper and they're going to be making money off of you if you're buying a full-blown setup. So it should be at least somewhat similar. Let's say you get a, a computer and you set it up so you get a case, a motherboard, a CPU, a hard drive, 
um, a GPU and a power supply, and that comes out to a thousand dollars. And then the one that you're buying has all those same parts, and it's eight hundred dollars. Um, then that's a good thing, right? Yeah. But chances are they're going to be skimping on the power supply, the motherboard, and the CPU cooler. So those three things you gotta kind of keep an eye out for. Mm -hmm. um, so what's the most important thing that this viewer needs to look at if they're they're going on Amazon, they're going to buy a PC. Right. What is, what is the first thing that they should look to make sure it has? <laughs> look for a good graphics card. And what is a good graphics card? Um, I would say a 1660 Ti is kind of like the budget low end of the uh, of the VR ready space. And I think that they are awesome graphics cards. They'll they'll get you by. We have them in some of our machines and they run great. They have don't have any problems. So that's your bare minimum, right? Like anything above that. Anything good. above that's fine. And uh, there's a lot of different charts online. You can look up and just say like uh, graphics card comparison chart and it'll show you like where things fall in, in the, the scheme of things. Cause there's no, it's not, it doesn't go like one, two, three, four, five, six, and it just gets better, right? It's different levels. So like okay. you have like a 2060 is going to be worse than like a 1080, you know, like it, mm. it's weird. So I, I would look that up, look, do your little bit of research. Um, I can put a link in the, in the description for one of those charts that we, that I use. Um, but yeah, so look that's for the most important thing is your graphics card, right? If you've got extra budget to go towards something, that's what you want to put it towards. That's, that's the key. Right. Is there anything else that's vital or really important that they like they're going on Amazon they see a PC that looks cool to them they're like okay it's got that graphics card it's got the thing that you just mentioned yep plus this wow it's good what what else what um else? I would check for RAM make sure it has 16 gigs of RAM at least mm -hmm. um the CPU if it's got a great graphics card chances are they're not going to put a junky CPU in there yeah. but I would still verify that it's at least like an eighth gen um Intel CPU if you're going Intel um AMD or the comparable AMD level. Uh, but eighth gen, preferably i7, but i5 will work fine. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you gotta worry about. Okay, so that's the main thing. And then what else? So like, what else would you, um, so they're, okay, they've got a PC, they found one on Amazon, that's good. Yep. Maybe they find a headset that, they're, that they wanna get, the Oculus, the Reverb, the Index. Right. What's next? So pretty much if it? you, there's, there's a lot of other things you need to consider, <laughs> right? So like, Let's say you want to go with a Valve Index. That, thousand, thousand bucks. That's a thousand bucks. So now you're adding more to your, your cost, but that's fine, right? So dang good headset. Yeah, it is a dang good headset. But let's say that you're getting the Valve Index, right? And um, you need a place to put the, the lighthouses, okay? So you, you have an option. You can either mount them to your wall. I know that probably your landlord or if you're living at home, your mom or... If you have your own house, possibly your significant other is not going to be happy about you screwing these things into the wall. So then you have to worry about tripods, okay, um, or some other weird system for hanging them up. Um, that's going to cost you another 60 bucks because you need two of them. Um, Accessories, right? You're going to need right keyboard, mouse, mouse and keyboard. You can usually monitor. get those for pretty cheap. Um, maybe you have one laying around your house. Probably you do. You might. Yeah. Um, a monitor don't it, unless you intend on sitting down and playing like real games you can spend 100 bucks on a monitor and you're fine okay. um just make sure it's 1080p all those things um they don't really even sell monitors for any less than heck you can even put it in your living room and connect it to your tv and then you don't have to pay for a monitor mm. um that's an option so yeah that's pretty much it like it, vr can get as expensive as you want it to be right you can start adding in things like like a haptic vest or oh yeah um uh, they even are making treadmills now that make sense. So yeah. those are all things that you can worry about later though. So yeah. I, and I think if you're watching this video, you're likely looking for just the the easiest way into the industry, the easiest right. way into VR. And, and that's probably going to do it. Go onto Amazon. If you're not tech savvy, go onto Amazon, buy a computer that covered those things. It has a good graphics card. Yep. Go buy the headset that you want. If it falls under your budget, go buy the accessories that you're going to need the the important things then you're good to go then you just need to worry about buying games and things like that and that's pretty straightforward yep so. yep so you're looking at 800 to a thousand bucks for a vr ready pc we'll just say 500 on average for a headset um <clears throat> another hundred dollars for a monitor and we'll say 60 bucks for a mouse and keyboard because you don't want a junky one so yeah. what does that put you at i, I didn't that's do under math. it's under two grand what you just right. said but then you have to throw in the tax and things right and so it's always going to be more expensive than you think it is at the end of the day so right. it's that's going to put you around yeah. two grand yeah a little bit less than two grand i mean 
you'll be happy with that though. Yeah, that'll that'll be good. If you got more money, what what would you say, Sean? You spend it on the computer. Spend it on the computer, not yep. the headset. Yep. Because <laughs> that's the thing. It's going to be a temptation to say, you know what? I've got extra money. I've got a little over two grand, Sean and Landon. So what I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to buy the Valve Index because that's the be one of the best headsets on the market. Um, but I'm going to slack off on the computer a little bit. It's not going to you're not going to actually be able to utilize, utilize that the headset. power that that headset has. So right. you want to spend the money on the computer so that it can fully utilize the headset that you get. And that'll, in the end, be a better experience exactly. than having the better headset. Exactly. The expensive headset. So keep that in mind as well. Yep. Um, yeah, the, yeah. If you spend a lot of money, so like if you buy a cheap headset and a really nice computer, you can always sell your headset later. Mm -hmm. um, the used VR headset market is expanding. Yeah. Um, and you can always upgrade, right? So if you have a really nice computer, a cheap headset, and you're like, you know what? I want a better headset. You can do that. And um, you can sell your headset and get a new one and you're, you're not out that much money. But if you buy a crappy computer and a nice headset, you're going to be like, ugh, this sucks. Like, this is not what I want it to be. Yep. So you're going to have to sell your computer and selling a computer is the worst thing ever. You make... It, they lose, they diminish in value. Yeah, you lose so much of your money um, and then you're going to have to go out and buy a whole new computer, start your whole setup from scratch again, um, get all your programs reinstalled. It's going to be a mess. So spend your extra money on a computer, cheaper headset, but preferably a normal cost headset. Yep. And you'll be happy. That should do it. So yep. anyways, I, we really hope that this video was able to provide you with some sort of value and it, let us know what you think in the comments. Do you, do you think this is the best way to go about it? Maybe you've done this before and you have some really cool tips and tricks. Put it in below. Uh, it, maybe you disagree on a few of our points. Let us know what you disagree with and we'd love to have a conversation with you and just find the best way to provide value to the viewer, to the viewers who really need help with things like this. Yep. We hope this helps you get into the, into the VR industry. We love it. It's fantastic. And that's awesome. So thanks for being here. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Boom. Okay.